Hey everybody, Zori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm gonna cover how to redirect an old domain to a new domain using Cloudflare. I have this domain, heartcarvings.com. I'm gonna show you how to take this old domain, heartcarvings.com, and redirect all of its pages to a new domain, for example, written.com and domain that we own. Okay, very simply put, there's gonna be two scenarios that I'll show you. So I'm gonna click here. I'm going to rules in my Cloudflare. Obviously, I selected my domain, rules, redirect rules, and create a new rule. So what I'm gonna specify is first the name. This is just an internal old to new. For example, redirect old to new. And I'm gonna specify that it applies to all traffic because I want it, all my pages to redirect to this. I don't want a specific scenario or a specific rule to apply. I want all the pages on the entire domain of heartcarvings.com as you can see on the top. So there's gonna be two scenarios. Number one is if I wanna redirect all of my pages, no matter if it's the About Us page, the contact page, the site map, the home page, if I wanna redirect it to a singular URL, for example, I would type in the type is static and I would type in the, no the name. What this would do is no matter uh, which page I'm on, for example, heartcarvings.com slash about us, it will redirect to the home page. It won't redirect to written.com slash about us or heartcarvings.com slash contact will not go to written.com slash contact. It will go to written.com, just the home page. So if you want to specify a specific URL, you'd put the URL right here. Here you would specify in the status code either 301 or 302. 301 is a permanent redirect, which means you're never going to change it. You don't have any intention to change the redirect from the old domain to this new domain, 301. If you will ever change that or you need a test, you're going to do 302, which is a temporary redirect, 302, and eventually you can change it to a permanent one if you need to. Uh, if you're not sure, uh, let us know if you have any questions. In general, if you have an old domain, you'll never use it again. Do 301. 301 is the best for redirects, and it's the best for SEO as well. If you want to transfer your SEO, you know, link juice or, or power or links, etc., like that. Okay, what you're going to do, you're going to click on deploy. That's it. You finished it. The second scenario, which is the more common scenario, is you want to redirect the old domain pages to the new domain, but maintain the pages. So for example, if I'm on heartcarvings.com slash about us, I want to go to written.com slash about us. I don't want to go to the homepage or heartcarvings.com slash contact us or FAQs. I want to go to written.com slash FAQs or slash contact us. So if you want to do that, you're going to have to click here on dynamic type. And under the expression, you're going to put in this specific thing. You're going to put in a simple rule. We also have an article which we'll link. You can just copy paste it very simply. Concat, the domain you want, for example, written.com, and then the rest, HTTP URI path, which basically means maintain the page. For example, if I was slash about us, it'll also on the new domain, go to written.com slash about us or new domain slash about us. And then obviously 301 and 302 redirect, you wanna do the same thing, either a permanent, which is 301 or 302, which is temporary. And the last thing is if you wanna preserve the query string. So what is a query string? For example, let's say I am, I am heartcarvings.com slash about us, but I might have some kind of a, for example, ID, so ID equals um, hello, or maybe I have like a search term, so and search. So anything that has question mark equals uh, and equals all of these things, if you're familiar with a, either your, your ads, uh, for example, I might have a GCL ID for Google ads or maybe your search term or something dynamic, it will actually carry it on. If you don't check this, then if someone goes to the old domain slash whatever it is with a question mark something, it won't maintain it. It'll just go to written.com slash about us. That's it. But if you keep this on, it'll actually maintain and it'll be written.com slash about us question mark ID equals hello and search, etc. That's what query string is. If you're not sure, just keep it. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt in general. If it's a new platform, you change platforms, you might not want. But if you have a question, you're not sure, uh, ask us. We'll be happy to help as best as we can. Okay? So you do this. You click on deploy, and that's it. Very simply put, if you're not sure what you're doing with the status codes, put 302, test as much as you can. And if you're okay, then you eventually change to 301. Uh, you click on deploy, and you're good to go. That's it. It basically did it. You click on deploy. You can already test it. How do you test it? For example, you're going to go here to heartcarvings.com right here. 
and you're just going to check, for example, about us. Let's click about us. It went to written.com slash about us. Let's try another one. For example, heart carvings.com slash pages slash FAQs. If I do that, it'll do that. That's it. It went to written.com. It actually maintained the dynamic pages. It just changed the domain name, but it kept the pages. Those are the two things that you can actually do uh, for redirects. Again, if you have any questions, let us know. This is the very, very simple way to do it. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. If this video helped you in any way, please like, please subscribe, please share. It means a lot to us, helps us grow. It gives us feedback to know that we're making good content for you guys. And if there's anything you want, any topic you want, any question you have, ask us, comment. We, we're on LinkedIn, we're on Twitter, X, uh, obviously on our website, oneskills.com, YouTube channel, comments. Ask us anywhere you, you, you like to hang out and we'll be happy to help and make content for you guys. Uh, that's it. Much, much appreciated. Thank you. Love you guys. Much, much appreciated.